Welcome race fans here to the 2018 Hardy's National Series. Here we are at Myrtle Beach. Sean Angel led the field down to the green flag here. He got a pull for the Rodriguez Racing Trio here. And you see car number six already leading the field into turn number one as the field already getting themselves scattered around. And just like that, to start lap number one, Sean Angel will lead the very first lap of this race here. But Hannah Allen and Jack Porkins are right behind them, the CM Racing Team. Getting some good momentum here early on in the stages of this season. They're really getting some momentum here in the latter half as well. Hannah Allen looking hungry for her first win of the season here. James Richardson now up to third there. But a great start for Sean Angel in car number six. Trouble out of turn two, Carlin McDowell got turned by Matt DeLeo right in advance, Conwell and Max Luger sending the 70 or spin off a of turn two and already a rocky start for Carlin McDowell and Matt DeLeo especially there as those two are going to be able to keep on going. And Sean Angel will be leading on the restart here, Hannah Allen in second did not get the car going and James Richardson's gonna go on the bottom of the track there, trying to get underneath that zero car, but Vance Conwell's in the way. Jack Porkins is gonna make a move on the bottom of the track there. He's gonna make it 3-1 on the bottom there, and he's gonna look for third. Marquez is gonna follow. Yellow flag is out again, as you see Jake West already trying to thread the needle with Kyle Bachelia following as the field gets slowed down again. Cautions already breeding cautions early on here at Myrtle Beach. And Blaze McKinney got hit by the number 7 of Caleb Farrell, sending him into the wall. And he's got right side damage to his machine just like that, and that's really going to hurt the aerodynamics on that Great Clips machine. Sean Angel continuing to lead this race here, but the CM Racing cars are still right on his bumper there. Marchese in that fourth spot here. Don't count him out. That, that driver's been really quiet all season, but he's running inside the top 10 points. Richardson using the lap car to his pick there. He's going to go on the bottom there. Jake West is going to follow as well in the perky jerky Chevrolet. And Kyle Bashelli is the one to get held up by uh, the 99 advance Codwood there. You see Emmett Juckum going on the outside there. TJ Martin. And Eric DeMax are trying to find a way, and Conroll gets put in the wall by Michelia. Michelia has to watch up the track. Aiden Shepard trying to squeeze his way through as the field already getting stacked up all over the racetrack there. Williams getting held up by the 99 as John Arndt's going to make a move. Four wide in the first corner there, and John Arndt's going to get a lot of track position out of this. The, that 88 car did not start too well on the grid, and he is making his way forwards here at Myrtle Beach. While the battle in the mid-pack was going on, Hannah Allen took the lead away from Sean Angel with a power move off of turn four there. And bring car number zero to the front of the field here. Hannah Allen is looking to find victory yet again, or for once and for all to be exact. Or CM Racing, CM Racing again trying to find victory here as they've been getting stronger and stronger this season. Porkins trying to make a move underneath Sean Angel for that second spot, but he was not able to that time around. So. Sean Angel able to hold on to second, but you see James Richardson and Jake West coming into that picture there, not too far behind them. Good exit off a of turn four there for Jack Porkins there, and Porkins looking on the inside of the six there. Angel gives plenty of room, but they are still side by side off a of turn two there. Angel on the outside, Porkins on the inside, Richardson there to follow in the 17, with Jake West not too far behind. Those two have been going at it for some time, but Angel losing that spot away from Jack Porkins, but car number six is now dropped down to third on the grid here. Looks like Angel's car is not as good in this long run as anticipated, so they're gonna have to, might have to do some adjustments for that number six car. However, another caution would come out when Bradley Bishop Jr. got assistance from the number 12 of Blaze McKinney, sending the 61 into the wall there. McKinney was a couple laps down after having to repair some damage in that number 12 machine there, but it looks like the 61's going to be able to keep on going. Bradley Bishop Jr. has had a very rocky 2018 year overall as a driver, and certainly this is going to be one of the downs in his career as of right now. Back underway yet again. Cautions have been breathing cautions so far. Hannah Allen leading over Jack Porkins, but Allen drove it really wide to turn one into the marbles. Here comes Jack Porkins on the inside, the 95 on the attack. Smoke in the back there, Richardson way down the bottom, but the battle for the lead is on, and Jack Porkins is able to clear the Ikea machine there, and he is going to be the one leading it across the line. 
and Anthony Marchese actually just lost it in the turn one, and you saw Richardson and West made contact on turn two, and they saved it, but Marchese had a great run coming in, and certainly that's not going to help his run on the tables here in terms of the point standings here. That's going to be a rocky start to really overcome here at Myrtle Beach. With Jack Porkins taking the lead, Hannah Allen's got to find a way to get around him. That zero car's been hungry. Blaze McKinney did get his lap back here, so he's got one more to really take back here. West on the bottom there, Kaya Bashelli is going to try and press, press the issue there. He's going to pressure that four car, and James Richardson gets shoved up into the marbles there as they scramble around Vance Codwell. Nick Salmon's making his way upwards to the field, as well as Eric Demex in that number five there, Bashelia on that inside groove there in the 86. He's trying to get that team on top five here, or that 86 car. bashelia has been a top 10 driver throughout most of the season, and certainly so. That Dante car gaining some speed here so far, Myrtle Beach, and using traffic to his advantage. That is a veteran move on that 86. Nick Salmon has been gaining some ground on Kyle Bashelli there, and there's the lap car in the way. Perfect use of a pick right there, and Salmon's gonna take the fourth spot away. Bashelli is trying to navigate his way around the Logitech car, and look at Jake West and the others right behind him. Yakko, Demax. They're all piling past him, and there you see the 99 in the wall. In turns 3 and 4 there, Yakko couldn't really uh, take an opportunity to really attack it, but Richardson and James Shelley are right there in the mix, but Eric Demax is now attacking the 86 there. West is going to follow in that 4 car. And with Jake West, Jake West is really trying to gain some ground after mishaps, and Nashville really cost him a lot of championship points here. And Jake West is going to be rather aggressive here in this race if he wants to really gain ground on TJ Martin, the points leader coming in, who isn't too far behind that number four car. Richardson wanting to get his nose underneath. He will be able to put his nose underneath, and he's going to make it three wide on the inside line there. Michelle gets shoved up into the marbles there, but Yakko's going to try and hold off that 17 car. They're still going at it here in the turn one. And watch that 17 launch up the racetrack there, trying to make him run off the track just a tad. And it looks like Richardson will have the advantage into turn 3 there. That 17 car has been pretty ferocious these past couple of races, and certainly so here today. James Richardson is going to be one you could be able to look out for in this race. Yako and Shepard have been going at it for a while, now 16 and 8. But here they come off of turn 2, and Shepard gets hit from behind. The 60 spins around off of turn 2, and Shepard nearly hits the pit wall there. And that's going to bring out a yell after a long stint. There's more cars behind them. And the 81 went for a spin there. And Patrick Smith spinning around right behind. Stollard's there. And that's Owen and gets hit by Robert Harrison. But that is going to be a tough break there for Aiden Shepard. He had a good run coming in. Not quite up inside the top 10, but was really on the outskirts of it. With that said and done, Jack Porkins leads the field to restart yet again. He's been dominating this race so far with Hannah Allen on tow. But Hannah Allen's got to get around a lot of the traffic here. You see so many cars scrambling for position here. Kaya Bashelli trying to get through the middle here, trying to get around all the slow cars on the bottom of the track. They're dominating that inside lane there. TJ Martin getting shoved out of line. There's Emmett Juckham in the 07. Marquez making his way upwards again. Good recovery run for the snap-on machine there. And there you see Marquez trying to navigate his way through traffic. Everybody's doing a job there. Halix in the wall for turn two there. And no caution on the track there, but field already scattered around. Jake West getting shoved up the track as well, and there is, is James Richardson, the 17 there, Michelle in the 86, Williams, Yako, and others there. And there's Matt DeLeo. He's doing a great job there. He started near the back, had issues on the first couple laps, but he's making his way upward to the field yet again, so Matt DeLeo navigating his way around as, like I've mentioned earlier, in terms of repetition. These drivers are really doing a good job of trying to get around traffic here so far. Blaze McKinney managed to get both of his laps back during that green flag run. And oh man, he put Shepard in the wall there. Shepard slides up the track there in a row and TJ Martin as well as John Arndt. But man, Blaze McKinney, they've actually recorded the fastest lap time of the race with a 19 flat with the, well, 89. Not too far behind that, but even so, that is a blistering lap from the Toyota there. They certainly found something in that Fisher car there. And again, like I've mentioned, Blaze McKinney managed to get both of his laps back during this race, so this is certainly an amazing recovery run from this 12 team. Expect them maybe to get in that top 10 sooner or later there, because that 12 car is a monster under that motor. 
After that restart, TJ Martin has really struggled to get around cars. He got shuffled up way up high in the marbles. Same with John Art there. And both cars are running 21st and 22nd respectively in this race. And certainly not the run they really wanted. TJ Martin especially did not want to run like this today. He was really hopeful coming in and had a really fast car. But right now this is certainly not the run he's really anticipated so far here. He's probably going to have to hope to get around cars in this longer stint here. Same thing with John Arndt. Those two have been pretty promising in terms of speed these past couple races, and well, these aren't the results that's really going to showcase their true talents here at Myrtle Beach. Anthony Marquez has been bouncing his way upwards in the field. He is in the ninth spot right there. DeLeo gave a bumper to the 66 there on the corner panel. They're going to go three wide around the 99, splitting them both. And look who's coming into the picture. Blaze McKinney in the 12 there. What a stellar start here for this 12 car. They have really improved their pace so far with this Toyota. They're certainly going to be very proud of their feet, feet here. And now he's going to be in the charge of Matt DeLeo on the inside of that number two car. He's going to be late on the brakes there. Aggressive braking on the Great Clips machine. And he is going to be up to P9 just like that. What a stellar run for car number 12. This is certainly going to be the comeback of the race here for this team. Blaze McKinney's gonna run into turn one there. He's gonna look underneath Michelle in for eighth. That Toyota again is just looking very strong on the radar. He's been running 19 twos consistently in this race. And again, he ran the fastest lap with a 19.0. And now he is up to the eighth spot here. He is certainly a good driver to be reckoned with here at this short track. Really experienced, real good experience from the veteran here. Classy, classy textbook move from that 12. Up front though, Jack Porkins has still maintained his lead over Hannah Allen, but lap traffic is now in the way. Vance Conwell, there's Jack Halleck, Cement Oskin, and there is also Chris Louvier in the 9 making his debut in the Hardys National Series there. He's a good comeback for him, but not the best run for that Mustang there, but Hannah Allen is not too far behind. CM Racing 1 and 2 yet again. These two, this team has been really strong with all four of their cars, but Hannah Allen is looking for a first win of the season there. Jack Porkins has already won that gateway there, and certainly so. Porkins has been trying to get some momentum here with this 95 team, and with dominating this race so far, this is really going to impress the boss down there. Eric DeMax is getting held up by Robert Harrison. Here comes Sean Angel on the inside there. A massive dive bomb on the 6 there. The 82 and the 17 are going to follow there. Richardson on the lean lap. Wong not. And here comes the 17 and the 4 coming into the picture there, but look who's coming in as well in the fray. Car number 12 of Blake's McKinney. That behemoth of a car is now past Eric to Max to Max losing three positions just like that. And now McKinney on the inside of Jake West for position there. And put that number 12 car up to the top 10 there, up to 6 on the grid right now. And now he's going to chase down Richardson there. As there you see the field getting around, Caution is out in the 22 car. Has stopped his car on the track, and that is going to change everything in this race for Jack Porkins. And as his lead is going to evaporate as a result. Jack Porkins is going to be leading over Hannah Allen, but Allen is right there and right behind him. The CM Racing car is 1-2, Sam in 3rd. And the rest of the field trying to gather themselves around. Trouble in the back there. Yakko's in the wall. And the 95 car still going on the track there, still with a good lead over Hannah Allen as he takes the car to the line. And Alex Vignacco just lost it in turn two, the car wheel hopped. And well, he uh, just ended up in the wall because of that, and that is a tough break for the 8 car. They were running mid-pack, but now they're going to be running near the back of the wing lap cars. Jack Porkins now leading, but it's now single file restarts this time around. Hannah Allen with a good restart in the zero. She's got to run underneath the 95. And here she comes on the inside. Hannah Allen is going to try and take the lead, trying to bring the Allen family in victory lane yet again. Not the team, but just the family namesake. Back in victory lane, Hannah Allen trying to make history here and bring women into victory lane yet again here. And Hannah Allen still with that lead there. Great pass on the restart there. Amazing with the shifts there. And car number zero is now P1 on the grid. Look at Blake McKinney trying to make a move on the inside of James Richardson. He is not able to really pounce on that opportunity there. And he's going to have to back off just a tad there. But Hannah Allen with a power move on the restart. Caution is out. 
and this could end the race here, but there could be one more restart to decide it all. John Arndt got into the back of Jake Rogers there, and the 15 was way against the wall. He slid up right into TJ Martin, and the 15 went for a roll. Couple rolls there, and he's gonna land his wheels, but the points leader coming in, TJ Martin, has heavy front end damage to his car. It doesn't look too severe, but certainly so. That's really gonna hinder the aerodynamics on that Mustang. This will be a two lap show to decide it all. Hannah Allen leading, Jack Porkins in second. Porkins with a good restart there, but will he make the move on the inside? He's got a nose right behind him. Smoke in the back there, John Bunnell got shoved out of line there. And Sean Angel's gonna lose positions because of that, and that puts the 12 car up to fifth. But Hannah Allen has two laps to go, but here they come to the white flag. One more lap to go here at Myrtle Beach. What will Jack Porkins do? Hannah Allen has the lead, Porkins in second, Sam in third, running out of turn two there, Porkins is running out of time, does he have enough? Into the final two corners, Hannah Allen has plenty of gap, Porkins had a good run of a four, but Hannah Allen's going to win here at Myrtle Beach, her first victory in the Hardys National Series here, and the Allen family legend will move on here, Hannah Allen has found victory lane here, and it's gonna be a Myrtle Beach. What a run for this Zero Team in CM Racing. They've gotten three out of the four cars now in victory lane here. First off with Ben Yako, second with Porkins, and now with Hannah Allen. So we're still waiting for that John Arn victory, but what a job for Hannah Allen there. Porkins second, Salmon gets a top three run. That team's been struggling a lot this season. Richardson fourth, Blaze McKinney, I think I would give him a driver of the day there. He gets a top five there. He had to go from two laps down to get on the lead lap, and he managed to work his way up into the top five there. As you look through the rest of the top ten here, but what a race there to end Myrtle Beach there. We had a lot of cautions at the end there because of just chaos and aggressiveness coming into play at this short track. Beating and banging is imminent here. But what a jump for Hannah Allen. CM Racing finds victory yet again. This team is going to be on a hot streak here in terms of the championship hunt here, and that's really going to help them.